Hi, my name is Thomas Larson. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Talpeki in West Auckland. Today I'm most looking forward to playing around with the Ferraris and learning heaps. Oh, and definitely going for a ride. Definitely going for a ride. Well, can a car be more prestigious than a Ferrari or a Maserati? We've brought Thomas to Auckland's Continental Cars. And above their shiny showroom is a state-of-the-art workshop dedicated to servicing the cars. Good morning, Thomas. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dwayne Jarrett. I'm the after sales manager for Continental Car Services. And uh, welcome to Ferrari Maserati. Thank you. I don't think there's ever been a more exciting time to be in the industry. Um, it's very clinical, it's very high tech. We're looking for individuals that uh, can uh, meet the challenge, I guess, of the industry, and there's plenty of young people out there who can. So, Thomas, behind me is uh, where the vehicles enter and exit the workshop and to the right is our grooming bay. There's general service bays, a factory tooling area and two purpose-built diagnostic bays which hook up to extraction ducting and laptop computers. One, the F1 bay, comes complete with a state-of-the-art lift and even a customer observation window from the service reception area beyond. As you can see this is a very clinical environment. Um, the motor industry today is such that cleanliness is uh, so important even down to the clothes you wear, they need to be clean. Presentation is everything. Um, and it's even more so important with the brands that we're dealing with here. Well, Thomas already knows his way around an engine, so under technician Aaron Gamble's watchful eye, he's straight into helping out on a service. These cars are top end. Um, they are works of art in, in their own right. The technology we see in some of these cars, and in particular Ferrari, Maserati, uh, has come straight off the racetrack. That racetrack technology extends to identifying faults. 28 computers are packed on board this Ferrari 612 Scal Yeti. And if a fault occurs, the car is quick to tell what to fix. Yeah, Thomas, we've got um, a 612 Scal Yeti Ferrari here. Um, the owner's complaint is the engine malfunction lights on. So what we'll do is we'll uh, plug our tester in and um, see what comes up. Our error is uh, cylinder one injection malfunction. Simple as that. It's all right there. A strobe light is used to indicate if there's an electrical problem to the failed injector. If it doesn't light, then there's an electrical glitch. That's it. The diagnostic computer is hooked up and the strobe light fails to light. So what we need to do now is uh, we'll go check the wiring actually at the plug. So you can see that the, uh, the wire wasn't located in properly. Uh, so we'll just uh, push it home. With the wire reconnected, the problem is fixed. It's a very computer orientated industry. Diagnostic skills are very important. Being able to think outside the square, but also having a, a, a strong level of, of basic knowledge of the motor industry is important. So the apprenticeship scheme is uh, key to that. It lays a platform for a young person to learn skills, and then we add to that with specialist training. 17-year-old Nick Maravich has just started his automotive technician apprenticeship with the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation. Nick was originally employed as a car groomer at Continental Car Services before applying for his apprenticeship position. And were you pleased that it turned out to be Ferraris that you're working on? Oh, of course. I couldn't probably wish for anything better. <laughs> I'd second that. Presentation of the motor vehicle uh, once the service has been completed is extremely as important as repairing the vehicle itself. A lot of our apprentices actually start with us in a car grooming role and that's been very, very beneficial to us because um, that attention to detail has started at the arguably the grassroots of the industry um, and follows through their career. And if you're going to work on the greatest cars in the world, you need the tools to match. Every technician here owns their own customised set of tools. It's a pretty impressive range of spinners you got there. Yeah. Yeah, I know we need sort of special spanners for certain jobs for getting in tight spaces. You have small ones and then the gear wrench ones and they're really easy to take off. Also got a wide range of screwdrivers. Got your flatheads, your Phillips, all got magnetic tips so you don't drop screws. Then you go to like sort of your hex screwdrivers like that, which a lot of the European cars have, and dashboards and stuff you need. Some of the other tools that I've got, like got your air tools run doing like engine mount bolts and stuff. Makes the job a hell of a lot easier. Look like you've got it all pretty much sorted. Being a technician in this industry, it is a real career. Um, it has a career path. It's not second prize. You know, being in, a, in the motor industry today is a, 
a first class career that can take you a long way and has many paths to follow and, and the support from Mito um, just makes that so much easier. While Nick and his Mito customer services manager discuss his progress and goals, Thomas is getting up to speed on a pre-delivery check of a brand spanking new 599. It's just worth over half a million dollars, um, so we have roughly about 10 hours to make sure that it's all ready for the owner to pick up. Level of customer expectation um, and customer service today is a very important part of the, of the uh, automotive industry and uh, the expectations of our customers, rightly so, are always lifting. We sort of try and mirror ourselves on a five star hotel image and we try and give the customer an experience that they can't forget or they don't want to forget. A new Maserati Grand Sport is also having its final pre-delivery check. Part of the uh, process of pre-delivering the car is we check over the vehicle, make sure everything's tight, um, computers are all reset, uh, body works fine, and then we've got to go over and make sure that the suspension's all set up for New Zealand roads. As part of every pre-delivery check, the suspension is adjusted and fine-tuned for a perfect ride. That adjustment needs to be tested and Thomas is getting revved up. Let's go for a drive. Working. The last couple of days have been absolutely indescribable. Um, I've experienced more than I ever thought I would. It's been awesome. That was uh, intense, amazing. Awesome. I think I could keep one of these in my garage quite easy. Well, I'll take it out a few times. So after two days surrounded by some of the most prestigious cars in the world, it's time for the brakes to go on. Thomas, thank you very much for spending the last two days with us and I hope you enjoyed yourself and you did a fantastic job. So I'd like to present you with this motor vehicle. Thank you very for much. Your time. Thank you. Please enjoy yourself. Only joking, mate. Only joking. <laughs> you can begin your automotive career with the startup program while you are still at school. There is also the option of completing a national certificate in motor industry entry skills with strands in automotive electrical and mechanical and collision repair before starting your apprenticeship. Career prospects are good. You can expand your opportunities with Mito's Advanced Technician ATEC program or consider business management qualifications. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.